Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Message. This is your daily reading for tomorrow, Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022, for all signs, all signs that may be watching. And this is a reading for the collective, so of course it may not resonate with you specifically. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please do come get a personal private tarot reading with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. For your reading today, we are using the Money Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky. Uh, you can find this deck at Tarot Mania, or that is the publisher, I believe. Um, design is by Eugene Vinitsky. All right, so the Money Tarot deck for tomorrow. Let's clear some of this. I think I just burned my phone. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Spirit, what can you tell me? What's going on with the collective tomorrow? All signs. All signs may be watching. What's going on for the collective tomorrow? Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. Messages and energies for the collective, please, spirit. Have the ace of pentacles the page of cups what is this the two of pentacles in reverse I thought that was the high priestess they use Roman numerals for the minor arcana in this deck. And then the major arcana, they just put the, the name of the major arcana. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the star. Aquarius. So we have earth sign, energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have water sign energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and we have earth sign again. I do pick up the sign of Virgo, also Capricorn coming through strongly. There's some uh, child here. Someone's child is coming through, or there's a very innocent energy here with the Page of Cups. I'm hearing innocent as a lamb or someone is, uh, I don't know, like a wee lamb or something like that. Uh, this could be about someone's child, of course. I do see a new beginning here. I'm hearing the word prosperity. There is abundance. There is a new beginning. There is a fresh start here, possibly for a... Uh, uh, a wee little one. I don't know why I keep saying that. Someone is like, <laughs> someone's kid is really cute. Or like their little cheeks are little chubby cheeks. Look at that. Someone does feel overwhelmed here or is dropping the ball or there's this energy of uh, maybe trying to do too much with at once. I also get this feeling of like having lost control or losing control or dropping the ball here. Um, I 
someone's child could have a new beginning, but it could be very overwhelming for them. Say, you know, maybe uh, you've had to move recently or um, they have a new school or something like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a great new beginning, but maybe uh, this child is very overwhelmed is what I'm getting. Um, that's one message coming through. Look at this star at the bottom of the deck, though. There is a lot of hope for the future. There is this bright, hopeful energy available. Very optimistic. I'm seeing a particular kind of architecture in my mind. I'm going to try and describe it to you. Uh, like a modern apartment building, or it could be a condo, or even a business building. I get like um, a modern architecture. Uh, I do pick up like Berlin, Germany, German, like De Stiel, like something very kind of sleek and modern. So I don't know. Uh, this could be going on in uh, a foreign country, of course. There is this bright hope for the future. There is this brand new beginning. It kind of sparkles, you know? I feel like whoever's child this is, they're very happy. Uh, maybe they're, they have a pet or something. Or maybe they just got a new dog, you got a new puppy or a new dog. I don't know, I feel like this kid is really happy about this new beginning, but they're also very overwhelmed. Yeah, I feel like someone's child has a new uh, pet or something. I see the pet like pulling them down the street. <laughs> maybe you have a new, uh, someone got a new dog or a new cat or something, but I feel like uh, they don't, the child doesn't know how to, um, control the animal yet so <laughs> the, it's like Timmy can you take you know the puppy out for a walk and it's more like the dog is walking the child is what I'm getting here look at that you can see uh, so that's the storyline coming through is what I'm getting cute yeah we have the page of pentacles underneath that so whatever this is, we're really focusing on that North Star, you know, so people are hopeful, optimistic, and focused on the glass is half full at this point, at least for some people out there. Now, in other parts of the world, people's lives are falling apart, and uh, we're about to uh, devolve into the worst part of civilization that we've ever seen. But for someone out there, there's this bright new beginning. It sparkles, like I said. So this is quite lovely. Uh, once again, I do see the signs of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Aquarius. So <laughs> this is what I have for you guys today. A bit of a simple reading. My power is out. They're testing the uh, power today. So it's been kind of nice to start my day with a reading. Once again, I'm just in the natural light. So maybe someone out there is uh, uh, dealing with a similar situation. But uh, for real, <laughs> like you don't have power. You just have candles or just natural light. All right. Well, I guess that's why they have daylight savings time, at least in some part, at least in some parts of the world, even though I feel like it's been imposed upon us. We no longer are a agrarian society, but um, all right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. This is your daily message as it gets darker and darker here. <clears throat> if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my information is below in the description. You can also click up in the right hand corner click the eye in the sky that will take you to my scheduling page where you can book a reading at your convenience i will see you guys back soon take care